Let me show you how you can remove background using the Vinci Resolve free version. I'm going to show you two methods, one manual and one automatic. The chapters are down below so feel free to skip to the any portion of the video. I'm also making this video because I recently made a plugin pack to mask on the edit page. And I forgot to mention a specific feature which allows you to animate mask points which also can be used to remove a background. So let me show you that first. So I have this clip and if I now drag and drop the custom mask and make sure the fusion overlay is turned on and now I can start adding points from the screen so let's make a rough square and close the path and it will create a mask now we can zoom in and refine the mask grab this handle and we can make a curve like this and make sure the mask includes the object properly once our mask is complete we can click on this invert masks option to reveal our object and now if we move the playhead now we can start tracking the object so in the inspector panel you will get an option animate mask point so click on the keyframe and now if we go further in time and change any mask point and now if you play you will notice the points move to that last keyframe so this is how we can track our object now we can go back to the beginning and start looking where the mask wears off and then we can adjust the points and make the object stay inside the mask you can toggle between the invert mask option to get a better view although this might not be the best way so i'm working on a feature that will allow you to temporarily turn off the mask so once you are done with keyframing all the points you will get a mask like this I would say this is a very decent mask but if you don't have the plugin then let me show you how you can do that in DaVinci Resolve for free inside the fusion page. So take a polygon mask and start tracing the object just like you did before. Once you're done this time on the inspector panel right click on the right click here for shape animations and click on remove polygon polyline. It will remove any animation it already has so that we can do a fresh start. So click on the keyframe option and you can start tracking just like we did before. And finally just connect the mask output with blue input and you will get your mask. So that concludes our manual method. Now let's move on to the automatic method. Those who have skipped to this part, thank you for killing my watch time. This method is on the color page. And let me tell you first, color page has the best mask tracking or tracking in general in the Vinci Resolve. So to mask the object, click on the windows panel. This is the windows panel and select any one of this option. I'm gonna select the pen tool and make a rough mask here and then close the mask. Now to be able to view the mask, right click on this node graph and add a alpha output and then connect the blue input with this blue output and it will apply the mask and now we can start tracking so you can go to the tracker panel which is right beside the mask panel and from here if you have started from the first frame then you can click on track forward but because i started in the middle of the frame so i'm gonna click on track forward and backward once it's done you can scrub and say it did a really good job it's not the best mask but now we can refine it so if we go to the edit page we can view it properly and we can see here we would need to make an adjustment so let's go to the color page and now let me show you something if we move the mask point you can see it applies the change to the whole mask so let's control z and from here you have to change the clip to frame so once it's in on the clip it will apply on the whole clip but if you select frame and now if you change the mask point it will animate to that point just like we did in the previous manual method so we can make any adjustment we need from the mask panel we can also add some softness and once you're done you can go back to the edit page and then we can view our final mask so yeah that's how you can make a mask thank you for your support on the plugins and i'll see you in the next video